couple imprisons themselves in a white room for $5 million. Welcome to Cinema Magic. Today we'll show a 2022 psychological film titled The Immaculate Room. Well, secrets and private demons emerge when a seemingly perfect young couple competes for a $5 million prize by isolating themselves in an empty white room for 50 days. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. A couple named Kate and Mike enter a completely white room and look around in amazement. Kate points to a red button and tells her boyfriend that he should be the one to press it. With excitement, Mike presses the red button and is instantly greeted by a voice saying they were chosen to spend 50 days in the Immaculate Room and will take home $5 million if they complete the task. If one of them leaves, the prize money will drop to $1 million for the remaining contestant. There's no contact with the outside world and entertainment, only each other's company. After hearing the AI voice remind them of the rules, they explore the area and notice they weren't joking when they called it immaculate. Everything's white, and the only objects there are a bed and a bench. There's also a simple bathroom, which rules say they can enter one at a time, a red button they can use if they want to leave, a touch screen where they can request treats and a big clock above the exit door that counts down the time they have left in the experiment. Their meals are designed to cover their daily nutritional requirements and are just flavorless white shake that comes in a white carton. While Michael explores the room, Catherine browses the screen and sets the automatic lights out at 10 p.m. and the wake-up alarm at 7 a.m. When they go to bed on their first night, Mike tries to make love with Kate, but she's worried that they may be watched by people. Since Mike insists, they end up doing it quietly under the covers. On the second day, Kate gets up early. She went to the toilet to cheer herself up. After washing, she came to the dining area to see the familiar box of shake. Kate knew she could not escape. They'll have to eat this kind of food in the future. To keep themselves busy, Kate tries to theorize why Dr. Voyan is running this experiment. So Mike tells her about the documentary he saw about this guy's previous experiment that ended with a blue-collar family in tragedy. Nobody knows why Voyan did all this. They only know he's got tons of money and he likes using it to put people in unique circumstances because he's intrigued by the human condition. Now we see that keeping themselves entertained becomes a problem sooner than they expected. Kate always reminds Mike not to stare at the clock and to keep his mind on the prize, but it's hard. Together, they play hand clapping games, Marco Polo, or even dance. A few weeks have passed when something different finally happens. This day, Mike accidentally found a cockroach on the ground. Mike greeted the cockroach warmly. He also brought his own food to it. At this time, the broadcast reminds Mike of his behavior. It's illegal to provide food to this cockroach. All bonuses will be deducted if the rules are violated. Kind Mike doesn't want this cockroach to starve to death. He plans to open the door and let the cockroach out. But Kate stopped him because if they opened the door, the bonus would fall to $1 million. She didn't want to lose $4 million because of this cockroach, but Mike insisted on opening the door. Kate walked away angrily and accidentally trampled the cockroach to death. Mike spends the rest of the day sulking in a corner. Since each of them can take two treats, Mike is going to ask for one even if they take out $100,000 off their prize. Kate disapproves, but Mike doesn't need her permission and his treat ends up being a single green crayon. It's not much, but at least Mike can do his art on the walls now. Mike draws until there's no more crayon left, pissing Kate off when he leaves green stains all over the bathroom. Later, Kate apologizes for her behavior and explains that it's harder than she thought, but now they only have 20 days left. Upon entering the bathroom, Kate calls Mike in shock after finding a gun on the sink. She tells him to check it, but Michael's afraid that it might be loaded. They discussed and threw the gun under the bed. But even so, their hearts are not calm enough. Sure enough, something strange happened. The projector in the room suddenly started up. Mike gets a message from his sister, who tells him how she and their parents are doing, but she also thinks Mike isn't dating Kate anymore. Seeing his sister makes Mike very happy. But Kate doesn't want a connection of her own and panics when the screen puts a video of her dad, who's finally off the streets and living in a homeless shelter. Since the video won't stop, no matter how much she asks, Kate runs to hide behind the bathroom entrance and cries, and Mike comes over to comfort her. After sleeping by clinging desperately to her boyfriend, Kate doesn't get up when the alarm announces the morning and stays in bed all day because she's fallen into a depressed state. 
One morning, he tries to convince Kate to take a treat, but she refuses to lose that money. Growing increasingly frustrated, Mike mentions he isn't sure he can do this anymore, which finally inspires Kate to get out of bed. Before she takes a shower, though, she tells Mike to take his second treat, even if it costs a quarter million. Mike does so and is shocked to see the door open to allow a naked woman called Simone enter the room. She doesn't know anything about the project, she's just an actress getting paid. She'll be staying for 24 hours with both of them. Kate doesn't like her presence very much and makes Mike give her his t-shirt so Simone can cover up a bit at least. The next day, Kate wakes up and finds Simone gone, thinking she left. Kate's relieved, only to find her in the bathroom. After a shower, Kate decides to take her treat to relax. Finally, Kate takes her treat and finds a small bottle of pills. She takes one pill along with Simone, but Kate warns her boyfriend that he should set this one out. However, Simone insists that they all took it, so Mike should also take it. The three begin dancing and flailing around the room. They also share a few group kisses. However, after a while, Mike begins to go through a bad trip. Simone takes Mike's hand to comfort him, and when Kate sees them, she freaks out, thinking Simone wants to steal her boyfriend. The following morning, Mike still isn't feeling well, but Kate's concentrating on other things. Simone's finally gone, but there's also a message from her on the wall in green crayon thanking Mike for a wild night. Kate freaks out, not listening to Mike when he explains he didn't do anything. In anger, Kate pushes Mike to the floor, making him hurt his head and bleed. She rushes to him, saying it was an accident. He moves away and asks her if he's ever been unfaithful to her. Mike collapses on the floor, deciding that they need to get out of the room. Kate asks him to wait and immediately grabs their sustenance and a towel. She puts the towel on his head and makes him drink for sustenance, but Mike insists that he needs a doctor urgently. Mike asks her to leave with him, but she refuses, so he gets up and walks to the red button. Mike says that the room is a mirror that sets them up to test them morally and spiritually, but clearly they're failing. Whatever he says, Kate insists on them staying, but he keeps telling her that staying in the room is wrong. Kate yells at him to stop walking. When Mike turns, he sees her shaking, holding a gun against him. Insisting that he can't leave, she claims he's not being rational to throw away millions of dollars. Despite this, Mike calmly says that the room is messing with her mind. Kate gives him a warning shot, but he continues to walk toward the red button. Finally, he walks outside to his freedom. After lots of laying around and freaking out in the shower, Kate sees the raindrop drawing on the wall, inspiring her to approach the button too and consider her option with only two days left. Many months later, a now single Mike is going for a run when he sees Kate coming out of a building. They haven't seen each other since the room and decide to go for a walk. When Mike asks Kate if she left the room or won, she dodges the question. At least though, she offers an apology for what happened. The story of the enclosed room continues. We see another couple who came here thinking of staying here for 50 days. There will be $5 million. And here the movie ends. And so does our video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with such interesting movie recap videos.